never done this before. It's pretty cool. Installing virtual machine inside uh, inside Linux or uh, Windows. Well, I was using Wine, which is the Windows API emulator for Linux, and. Uh, <coughs> And um, so anyway, but I got this problem. So my programs don't run in there. So um, so I gotta do that. Uh, run the virtual box. Basically, make a virtual machine. It um, it tricks the um computer into thinking that it's. Man, it's so nostalgic. This is, gosh, this is from like 13 years ago in 1999. And this is just so I can run all my old stuff with no problem. I've never used this before, but it's pretty easy. Microsoft says it's easy to use. If that's if uh, Microsoft Windows was so easy to use, then like, and if all Microsoft products are so easy to use, <coughs> then um, why do they have freaking college courses? And I'll show you too. They they do. Um, Yeah, if Microsoft products are so easy to use, then like, why does a fucking community college, which is Ivy Tech, why do they have fucking college courses teaching you how to use Microsoft products if Microsoft is so easy to use? Wow, six hour Internet Explorer course. They teach you how to use a fucking. Oh yeah, well, I need to stop saying the word. They, they teach you how to use a web browser. Oh my gosh, people are that stupid that they have to go to college <clears throat> to use Microsoft products. Be 
Geek Supreme of BeagleBotics. Oh my gosh, now I gotta get to the annoying part. Take the disc out of the drive. Got to put in the bullshit CD key. QDCMK of KG seven V V G D W. Or you'd think I'd have this memorized by now as many times as I had to install it. G Q V nine F M K nine B six. I'm gonna put the disc back in the drive. But I got spoiled on using GNU Linux because there are no C D keys, no product activation, no unnecessary junk to deal with. <coughs> Dude, now I can pull all my old stuff. And I, I, this is the first time I've ever done any virtual machine stuff in my entire life, and I'm 32. Just like I told that one dude. <clears throat> I, I mean, like, it, if I can do it, anybody can do it. It's just that they won't. Nobody I know really does this stuff. I mean, I've heard of people doing it on the internet. And I heard that there was such a thing. It's starting to get a little bit popular now. Now, my processor is an Intel second generation Core i5 2320. And as far as I know, it's got virtual virtualization. search engine. Yep. There we go.
2320 it's in the performance section <coughs> the upper mid level there it is yep that's my processor right here okay it's got Intel Insider True 3 technology quick sync video I don't, I don't think I have software support for it I don't have V Pro technology or I don't have hybrid that I knew that. I got virtualization. Virtualization directly I don't know what is this mean here? Okay, speed step, yeah I knew I got that because I see my software is doing that. Thermal monitoring is good. I got AES, yeah. Pretty beakish actually. Oh, this is good. So supposedly my my processor I believe has Hardware support for virtualization. You can do it anyway with that hardware support, but it just is slower. Maniac Mansion page that I made like six and a half years ago. Took me a year and a half to collect every version of it, of the game, every port, every system it was on.
of system specs that I'm emulating uh, has 256 megs of RAM, oh, which is around 10 times what Windows 98 requires, or 98 second edition requires. That's what I'm running, second edition. And I got like four and a half gigs of store of uh, hard drive allocated for this. Now, if I'm doing 3D modeling, I'm not really going to need audio. So that's not going to be an issue. Now this right here, I'm using uh, Wine, which is a Windows API emulator to run Maniac Mansion Deluxe. Seems to be running just fine right now. Cause I mean I got like eight gig, you know. <laughs> and 
mean, I just taught myself how to do virtual box just like right now. I mean, I play around with it a couple minutes, like right before. Um, right before I started making this video. Modeler program CD. Now this uh, Simply 3D, which is the 3D modeler program, should run as if it should run as if it does not even know that it's running on Linux. It should run entirely like it would on a computer from the late 1990s that has Windows 98 on it. <coughs>
graphical capabilities of the graphics card well, that's being emulated <coughs> uh, to 32 megs, which for Windows 98 PC, uh, when it, when uh, 32 megs of video memory was a lot. Yeah, enable 3D acceleration and all that. dealing with Microsoft sell stuff on how quick it restarts <laughs> quicker than in real life That i53 amp dot, uh, dot dll th th that file has caused me trouble for years. I remember I used to have problems with that. That i t that i temp 53 amp. It's a library. Like for some reason I can't handle shit. Damn. Probably a graphic processor. Just need to uh, change it. You know, to play around with it for a while. Well, that's that. First time I ever used a virtual box. It's going to conclude this um, this video for now. I am uh, Beak Supreme, <laughs> also known as uh, Christian Noggle. Right up there. So, uh, yeah. And uh, until next time. You can go pet some.